Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Texas officially forces Tesla's NACs on charging stations to get access to $400 million in subsidies. Tesla confirms new standard range Model S and X are limited by software. Tesla Cybertruck cited en route for apparent crash tests. And Tesla launches universal wall connector with Magic Dock style adapter. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Texas has officially approved an initiative that would force charging stations to be equipped with Tesla's NAX connector in order to get access to over $400 million in subsidies. After the first wave of automakers announced that they would adopt NAX, a connector that Tesla designed and is trying to make the new charging standard in North America, Texas's Department of Transportation announced that it planned to add NAX as a requirement to get access to millions in new funding for charging stations. However, Texas Transportation Commission faced pushback from charging station companies over the initiative due to concerns about getting access to the NAX connectors to build those stations. It pushed the vote back, but now it was made official. Now this new requirement is a state requirement on top of the federal requirements where the money is coming from, which includes a requirement that the charging stations have CCS connectors. Therefore, charging stations in Texas will need to have both CCS and NAX connectors to get access to federal money. Texas will receive more money for EV charging stations from the federal government than any other state, $407 million. The money will be granted and deployed over five years. Moving to the next update, Tesla confirms new standard range Model S and X are limited by software. Tesla has confirmed that its newly launched standard range versions of the Model S and Model X are limited by software and do not equip different battery chemistries like lithium iron phosphate or LFP. Recently, we reported on Tesla's launch of the new standard range versions of the Model S and Model X, which feature 320 and 269 miles of range respectively. They offer customers an opportunity to buy Tesla's luxury vehicles at a more reasonable cost. The Model S starts at $78,490, while the Model X is priced at $88,490. However, questions began to swirl on how Tesla was building the new, shorter-range vehicles. Was Tesla using LFP cells, as it did in the standard range Model 3, or was it using software to limit the range? it turns out it is the latter. Recently, Sawyer Merritt first reported that the new Model S and Model X configurations were offered with software limitations to offer fewer miles of range at a more affordable price. We called three Tesla showrooms to confirm, and they were able to give us the same answer. The vehicles are not using any different battery chemistry and are limited by software. Additionally, Tesla has no plans to currently offer upgrades that would unlock more range in the future. Tesla's strategy of offering the Model S and Model X at these lower price points could help take stress off of the Model 3 and Model Y, which make up for over 90% of the company's vehicle mix regularly. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck cited en route for apparent crash tests. It appears that Tesla is now putting some of its Cybertruck units through some crash tests. This was hinted at in recent sightings of the all-electric pickup truck in Lonak. Tesla Cybertruck sightings have been abounding in recent weeks, leading to speculations that the vehicle is nearing its first customer deliveries. Camouflaged units, Cybertrucks with unique wheel configurations, and pickup trucks that looked like they were tested hard have been sighted around the United States as of late. One particular sighting that was reported recently, however, was especially interesting. As could be seen in photos that were shared on X by EV advocate Brandon Flash, two Cybertrucks were sighted in Lonak, being pulled on a trailer by a truck belonging to Tesla. Both Cybertrucks looked like they were fresh off the production line, but one had coverings up front. Tesla enthusiasts have observed that the vehicle with the front covering had some interesting writing on its glass, reading, completed crash ready. 
This could be interpreted that the truck was completed and is ready for crash testing, or it could have been crash tested already. Based on the photos, however, it would seem like the vehicle is still very well intact. As noted in a report from Auto Evolution, Lonick is about 8 hours from Giga, Texas, and 13 hours from Anaya's facility in Ruckersville, Virginia. Considering that the driver of the truck carrying the Cybertrucks reportedly spent the night in Lonick, it would appear that the vehicles were indeed on a long trip. Interestingly enough, Tesla teased the Cybertrucks crash tests last April. At the time, however, the electric vehicle maker used the clip as an April Fool's post, so videos of the vehicle actually crashing into anything were not shared at all. Overall, it would be quite interesting to see how the Cybertruck does with crash tests, considering its steel construction and unique design. Moving to the last update, Tesla launches universal wall connector with Magic Dock style adapter. Tesla has launched its universal wall connector, which features both a North American charging standard, NAX plug, and an integrated J1772 adapter to conveniently charge any electric vehicle. The charger includes the capability to view charging history and energy consumption via the Tesla app, a feature that will likely be appreciated by non-Tesla owners. The new charger was announced by the electric vehicle maker through social media, as could be seen in videos of the product, as well as its page on the Tesla shop, the universal wall connector's key feature is its integrated J1772 adapter, which is designed to charge non-Teslas. The system is very similar to the Magic Dock, which Tesla has rolled out to its supercharger stations so that they can charge non-Tesla electric cars. A look at the Universal Wall Connectors page on the Tesla shop indicates that the charger features a number of novel functions. Apart from its integrated J1772 adapter and default NAX plug, the Universal Wall Connector is capable of adding 44 miles of range per hour at 11.5 kW, 48 amp output. The unit also features Wi-Fi connectivity, which means that it can receive over-the-air software updates. More importantly, the Universal Wall Connector also gives access to the Tesla app, which allows users to monitor and manage their charging schedule and usage. This is something that is not standard among non-Tesla chargers, and it is something that EV owners might find useful for their day-to-day -day use. Priced at $595, the Universal Wall Connector is more expensive than Tesla's current wall connector, which is priced at $475. But for its features and convenience, the product might very well be worth it. Interested buyers can place orders for the product on Tesla's website, though shipments are set to commence in October. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.